Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and for today's video, tutor po kayo sa pinakamahalagang part ng barko. Dito ako laging nagtatrabaho. A lot of you might be wondering if ano yung trabaho ko on board. Isa sa trabaho ko at yung main na trabaho ko on board is navigation. I'm a navigating officer. Isa ako sa nagtadrive ng barko making sure na darating kami sa paroroonam namin na safe. So if you want to see how my office looks like, just keep on watching. Maingay dito sa pag-open yung gano'n. A little trivia, itong barko na to was a Morning, Chief. So, welcome to the bridge. So, this is how it looks like. I will start the tour from here. My face mask and alcohol. Kasi kailangan namin gamitin yung face mask pag main run kaming pilots during maneuvering. First aid kit is here. Dito naman yung mga certificates and manuals ng mga equipments namin dito. Dito yung mga bridge files. Madami sila. Hindi na natin inisa-isahin. Dito naman is another cabinets. Bridge tools, night vision na binoculars na ginagamit namin pag high-risk area. Cabinets is here. Makalat kasi ginagamit namin. Ito naman is our laminating machine, lampshade, hot water, and of course, yung coffee machine <laughs> na kailangan na kailangan namin. Little sink and coffee, Milo, sugar, and teas, and biscuits is here. So, pag-utom kami, ito yung nandito na lahat ng kailangan namin. Dito naman is the toilet. Kasi hindi kami pwede bumaba. Hindi namin pwede iwanan na walang tao yung bridge pag nasa dagat kami. And flags. Signaling flags namin is na dito. Dito naman is Ectis. Ito yung pangalawang Ectis namin. Meron yung isa doon sa harap. In case na masiraan kami ng Ectis, meron pa kaming backup dito. At meron pa sa office ng captain. So, tatlo yung eggdisk namin dito. Ito yung eggdisk. Di ba, dati, pag yung mga seaman dyan, may mga paper charts. Wala na yun. Paperless yung barko na, na to. So, we have this electronic chart display information system. So, it's the same. So, we don't have paper charts na. So, we have eggdisk. Ito naman is bridge laptop. Ito yung clock namin. Sa buong barko, kung kailangan namin mag-adjust ng oras, ito yung, yung i-adjust namin dito para ma-adjust lahat ng, ng oras sa barko. Yung orasan sa barko, dito namin na-adjust. So, hindi na namin iisa-isa lahat ng orasan sa barko. Pag in-adjust namin yan, automatic yung mga orasan sa baba sa barko na-adjust din. Echo sounder na off ngayon kasi nasa deep water kami. Diyan namin malalaman if gano kalalim yung dagat sa, il sa ilalim ng barko. Echo sounder printer and DGPS display unit ng sp at speed lock unit. Dito naman, nandito yung mga computer set namin. 
So, in case na kailangan namin gawin mo yung paperwork, if traffic allowed, if hindi masyadong traffic, at hindi kami busy sa navigation, pwede namin gawin dito. They have two printers. Ito naman, computer to, para magita namin yung status ng balas, ng bilge, at fuel oil on board. Ito is the nav text, navigational text uh, display unit namin. This one we don't need to update kasi automatic na siya never feed up sa Ectis. So, but we still have it here. Um, computer. Ito yung phone namin. Pag kailangan namin tawagin yung office or may kailangan tawagin yung captain. Siya yung kumagamit niya and we don't usually use it kasi mahal siya. It's just for the important and urgent calls. Ito yung Satsi namin, GMDSS console. So comment down below if you want to know more about this equipment. Ito naman is our life jackets, motion suits, and EEBD cabinets. T2 is another net, which is flags, country flags. So, babaw yun yung mga plants kami dito. Tinatry namin buhay yan. So, ayan. Ito naman is another cabinet for bridge equipment papers. So, yung mga equipments na may printing, ano, dito namin nilalagay yung mga papers nila para in case na magubusan, nandiyan na, at spare flags. Ito naman, itong mahaba na to ay tinatawag na bridge console. Ito yung mga navigational equipments namin. So, we'll start from here. Ito yung Aconis. So, all about the engine and cargo monitoring system is all here. Kikita namin. Just like this one, main engine overview. Kikita namin kung ano status ng engine namin. And, makikita din namin yung alarms ng engine dito. So, kung may alarm sila, alam namin kung ano yung nangyayari. Ano yung problema. The same as Oops, sorry. The same as this cargo monitoring system. Dito naman, makikita namin yung bilge, ballast, and cargo miscellaneous na mga status. For example, this ballage, uh, bilge system. So, pag may alarm kami, alam namin kung saan. So, the same. Dito naman is the water, the water tight door system namin. Kailangan close siya lagi at sea. So, nakaport siya kasi ginagamit ngayon. So, hindi mag-alarm siya pag open. So, nilagay namin sa port kasi since working time naman ngayon, ginagamit talaga nila nag-open sila ng doors. Itong mga doors na ito gino-open nila. So, pinort namin. Pero pag gabi, gino-voyage namin yan para mag-alarm siya if may bukas. Ito naman is cargo cold fans. Yung ventilation ng mga cargo holds and passageway. Pwede namin i-on dito. Dito naman is emergency switch ng mga fans in case of fire. Kung kailangan namin i Patayin yung mga fans, ventilation. Ito yung mga switches and major part allocations. Scrubber emergency button. Bilge, fire, and GS pumps. Emergency fire pump. Ito. Ito yung may dalawa kami bilge, fire, and GS pumps. General alarm button. So, in case na kailangan may emergencies and kailangan namin magmaster. So, general alarm. Dito namin may automatic and hand. Fire alarm. Ito yung ipindutin. Ito naman yung satsi ng alarm. Ito naman is the bridge watch monitoring system. It's like a dead man alarm sa engine room. Pero sa amin ito, every 12 minutes, pag hindi namin ginagalaw yung equipments, mag-a-alarm siya at mag alarm sa captain's office kasi walang nag-acknowledge ng alarm. So, yan. 
extension alarm panel. So, sa ako nis yan. So, ano yung alarm dito? Tupunod, tumutunog dito din. So, alam din namin. At makikita din namin kung man yung engine or hindi. At sino yung duty engineer dito. Dito naman is the smoke detector alarm panel. So, sa cargo hold, ito yung uh, smoke detector panel namin sa cargo hold. So, makikita namin. Yung cargo hold, yung mga may puso ko, may sunog. Tutunog siya. Ito naman is the VDR, OH data recorder. In case of emergency, kailangan namin siya pintutin para is masave namin yung record ng mga navigational equipments. This is uh, used for the investigation. Ito naman is the bridge of system namin. So, yung crew, pag may kailangan sila sa bridge, pwede rin ako tawagan dito. Telephone namin. This is the reset button. Just like I said, yung VN was. Kailangan namin namin i-reset yung button every 12 minutes para hindi mag-alarm siya at hindi mag-alarm kay Karen. So, this one is the whistle button. So, parang busina niya namin dito. Balko. So, pag kailangan namin mag-busina o mag-signal sa ibang balko, ito yung pipindu din namin. Morse key. This is for the signaling din siya, pero light. Hindi siya yung tunog. Glass controller for the heater. HF telephone. Dito kami tinatawagan ng ibang barko. We call it very high frequency telephone. Lagi siyang naka channel 16 kasi yan yung universal channel na lagi pinapakinggan ng lahat ng barko. So, may makasalubong kami at kailangan na communicate. Dito sila tumatawag. Ito yung telephone. So, press to talk siya. So, kailangan siya pindutin para marinig ka nila. Ito naman is the Ectus. So, electronic Charge Display Information System. So, tingnan natin. Nasa Red Sea kami ngayon. We are on our way to Suez Canal for the transit for northbound convoy. So, dito is the Spun Radar. Let me know sa comment box if gusto nyo malaman yung mga functions and how to use these navigational equipments. Dito ko naman is the alarm panel. So, pag may mga alarms kami, alam namin kung anong alarms. Kasi, pag light siya dito. Dito is the steering gear pumps. May apat kami. Nag-change over kami ng dalawa every other day to exercise the steering gear pumps. Usually, we just need two. But in maneuvering and in some cases, if heavy traffic, pwede namin gamitin yung extra two. So, pwede namin gamitin lahat provided na we have, we're running extra generator. But if normal ano lang, voyage lang, dalawa is enough already. So, this is this is override button. So, in case na kailangan namin emergency, for emergency lang to, kailangan pinutin namin at dito namin pwede. Pwede kami lumiko, port or starboard dito. Just, this is for emergency, the steering gear unit. Override button. This is the unit for automatic and hand steering. So, at the moment, automatic kami. naka -auto. Like this, na deep sea at di naman kailangan may autopilot kami para hindi kami masyadong pagod. So, that one. Pero, pag traffic siya, at especially maneuvering, ito yung ginagamit namin. Yung manubela. Kasi, mas mabilis, mabilis siya kaysa sa automatic. Sa auto, uh, aut this auto steering unit. Autopilot. Mas mabilis yung manubela. Kaya, Pag maneuvering kami, pag papunta kami sa angkorahe, or mas prefer namin yung manubela, yung steering, hand steering na tinatawag.